Let's bring in Kiki Ryan from Politico, who is a kind of a, a special treat today because normally she joins us on Tuesday. So now we are back on. <laughs> well, on a plug, I mean, of course. So uh, you were there at the taping. Uh -huh. uh, what was the mood like in the room? I mean, did you have a sense that, that obviously the crowd was, uh, oh, was happy to see Stuart? But yeah, what they was were the mood very like? enthusiastic about Obama. Um, of course, but everyone there was was young, and you know people were, were talking while before waiting, wondering if it was going to be a good idea for him to do this, even though they both love you know, Stewart and Obama. But you know it was great to be there because Stewart spent so much time afterwards, about a half hour, taking questions from the audience, and even Stewart admitted that when, that clip we just saw when he got Obama saying yes we can, but he said when he said that in his mind he thought score. He knew <laughs> that that was going to be the clip that people were going to be watching yeah. today because he kind of. He kind of did. I don't think it was very uh, an easy interview. Well, we've you know. got a highlight reel. So okay, yeah, let's, the... uh, if, let's uh, see a few of kind of the okay. uh, best and, and brightest sure. moments. Let's look at that. Are we the people we were waiting for? Or <laughs> this is a uh, this is a nice set. Thank you very much. Yeah, it, it reminds me of uh, the convention. We yeah, actually, yeah, we actually bought it. It was in a, it was in a warehouse. <laughs> Does that happen to you wherever you go? Is that the, just a, a wild when you because when you guys go to work, do people <laughs> typically applaud or it's a nice feeling? It, it, it was a wonderful welcome. Uh, it does not happen. Uh, for example, when I go to the Republican caucus meeting. I see. Look, look, let me say this about uh, about members of Congress. Uh, Are you going to curse? No, I'm not. Gonna curse. Uh, um, Larry Summers did a heck of a job trying to figure out how to... You don't want to use that phrase, I, dude. I saw. I was... Uh, <laughs> pun intended. All right. All right. That was pretty funny. Yeah. So, I mean, the, the audience responded. You heard uh, uh, Doug say, but that still uh, seems uh, really inappropriate for presidents to do. But we are seeing more of that from presidents. Uh, did, did you have a sense from anyone last night that uh, this was uncomfortable, or was it just one big laugh fest? No, it was, it was one big laugh fest. But, I mean, how many people in the audience are even going to vote, you know, and on Tuesday? I mean, I think a lot of the, pro the problem is, is that these people that watch Daily Show don't really end up turning out to the So the young voters, uh, kind of getting to Harry's point, I mean, the young voters may seem energized when he's been making and he's been going on these tours. He was at the University of Wisconsin uh -huh. uh, and, and enthused, but are they going to get out of bed on Tuesday when Obama's name's not on the ballot and go vote for some congressional candidate they may not even know about? Yeah, historically, we haven't seen them do that in midterm let me, elections. Let me end up uh, on that note with you guys. I mean, is that uh, going to be a problem, do you think, uh, for Democrats? Or, or you know, you're looking to, to get that young vote out. Okay, like, I think young voters were doubted in 2008. Uh, they turned out in record numbers. Uh, they're going to come out again in 2010. And not only do we have faith in young voters to come out in 2010 because they understand the stakes, we have a plan in place to turn these folks out. Our GOTB operation is unprecedented. We've had uh, organizers in 50 states in all 435 congressional districts for the last, not just six weeks, for the last 20 months. That has never happened in the history of party politics before, uh, and we think they're going to turn out. Uh, uh, on November 2nd. It actually has happened before. We, we're doing the same thing. Um, and, and we think uh, young voters uh, have a real reason, especially in this election, to vote Republican. That's why we've spent so much time on college campuses. We get a lot of voters who are, are young people who are going to be uh, graduating from college, and they're scared that they're not going to be able to get a job. And I think they're, they're right to be scared. So Whether that's, that's undergrad or graduate or even even leaving high school. All right, well, we're going to have to end it with, it, with that. Um, thank you guys both very much for joining us, and I guess we'll all know the answer to these questions in, in five days. Kiki, thank you very uh -huh, much for sure. being here with us again, and we'll see you, I hope, next Tuesday, and gosh, maybe a few more days in between. Thanks a lot. <laughs>